Boy, yo, oh boy. Something crazy was added again here in ASDD. Going on, Snow Squad, it's your boy Snow, and welcome back again for another video here in Ulster Tower Defense. And uh, here is the update, finally, guys. And uh, there's a lot of stuff that I don't even know which to cover first. But, well, upon actually lurking on my Discord server, there is one unit that many of them are actually talking about, and it is over there. Well, not really Gilgamesh, but Kid Trunks. And guys, hold your breath because it's gonna be bloody on your gems. I mean, before the update, guys, I legit got 69, oh wait, 69? <laughs> 69K gems. And look at how much I have at the moment. It's already 10,000 minus, guys. So yeah, it is really crazy. And if you guys are wondering why, it's just because of this, guys. I mean, look at that. You actually actually need 30 pieces of Goten and also 30 pieces of Kid Trunks. Well, of course, we also got here the spoon looking dude, but I mean, guys, 30 pieces of them. <laughs> but anyway, I think it's actually going to be worth it. Let's now try to upgrade this one. And oh, there you go. So we got here Go Tanks. Oh my God. I really thought guys that he's only going to be like a four star unit, but hey, it is what it is. We now got here Go Tanks. So I'm just going to upgrade him to max level guys. And we will see if my 10K gems is actually worth it. Let's go. Okay, guys, first things first. This is going to be another Dragon Ball unit. And we already know, guys, the trend here in ASDD. Dragon Ball units are always on crack. But actually, guys, I got a warning from some of my Snow Squad to actually keep farming because, well, apparently Goku or Go not Goku, Gotenks is actually quite expensive. Well, you can already see, guys, that we will be needing like a thousand cash just to place him. But I'm just not sure, guys, yet because, well, you guys saw it. I just literally evolved him. So anyway, let me know in the comment section below, guys, if you already managed to grind the heck. Well, you don't really need to grind for him. You need to summon for him, guys, <laughs> because, well, it's just really crazy. 30 out of 30, guys, dude. That actually left me no choice but to, you know, remove all of those other fodder units that I'm actually saving, guys. So, yeah, my bag is really, really laggy at the moment. But anyway, I'm just going to farm Bulma, guys. Okay, guys, we are now back and it's now going to be wave number 13 and our Bulmama is still lacking like two more upgrades. But I think that that should now be good enough unless he's going to be crazily expensive. But anyway, guys, we will be needing 1000 cash to place our boy go tanks and ooh, right off the bat he will have this uh, kind of like a splash aoe circle and it's not really that small look at that yeah it's actually quite decent hmm all right so without any upgrade oh shoot i really hate this okay so without any upgrade guys he's gonna give us a damage of 2327 um five spa though but his range will be 30 together with well the circle aoe and as you guys can see the size of it is kind of like smaller just a little bit smaller compared to rengoku i think that maybe um who's that kilowa's father's um, circle aoe is almost the same all right so anyway guys let's now move on straight ahead onto his second upgrade it will only be 1342.5 okay it will only cost 800 i guess that i actually got trolled again um i'm not sure guys you know what let's just do it <laughs> all right so on his very first upgrade he will now give us a total damage of 3660 oh okay it's gonna be an op op damage because well 69 haha funny number so 3669.5 damage sp oh wait he actually got a lot of upgrades, guys, so maybe that was the reason why. So I guess that we're just gonna really make sure that our Bull Mama will be at max. 
Oh, yeah. We are still lacking like one more upgrade. Yeah, screw that. Anyway, guys, on the second upgrade, it will only be um, a damage upgrade again. 1,790 additional damage for 1,400 cash. Let's now do it. And there you go. All right, so 5,459. Ooh, come on. Just give him another 10 damage so that it will be like 5,469. So 5,000 plus already, guys, only on his second upgrade. And by the way, I think that I failed to show you that he is actually a six-star guy. He's not a five-star. I really thought that he was a five-star, but yeah. That was really a big jump, and that's kind of making sense, you know? Like 30 pieces of those three-star units going into six-star straight without even, you know, like going for a four star or five star so that is the reason why all right so anyway guys let's now move on to his uh, next upgrade and i can see here oh a big part of my childhood guys come on ghost mode all right so ghost mode will be here together with an additional five range and also some damage 2148 so keep in mind guys that this is a six star unit that's the reason why i'm saying some damage even though it will actually give him 2k plus but that will only cost us 1500 so so far he's not really acting oh my oh dude this is actually bigger than my nami test future thing <laughs> Look at this circle AOE, guys. I know, I'm not really sure if this is actually the same size of Kirito's balls. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. <laughs> what am I even saying? Kirito's um, circle AOE, but yeah, I think that this is actually quite big. And keep in mind, guys, that this is only literally three upgrades, guys. He's already giving us as well a damage of 7,607.5. Still gonna be 5 SPA and range will be 35. So yeah, it seems that his range is not really that good. I hope that it will still improve, but I mean, I'm actually expecting guys that this is gonna be a banger because this is a new six star at least. All right, so he's still only hitting grounds by the way. So on his next upgrade, it will be an additional five range, 2,506 damage. Oh, actually, you know what? Goku, get out of here you are stealing the spotlight because I still haven't actually checked the ghost mode animation. I wanted to see it guys up front. So, oh, look at this. This is really ironic. It's going to be Goku who would taste the ghost mode. Come on. And oh, that was so adorable. Okay. Yeah, that is the same thing that I'm expecting, guys. Oh my God. Wow. That is really a big part of my childhood, not gonna lie. But anyway, let's now upgrade him to upgrade number four. So there you go. And he's now gonna be hitting five digits uh, on his damage, 10,113.5. Okay, so so far he's not that expensive yet. I still cannot see the warning from my snow squad, but as you guys can see, his race is really not that good. But the thing is, his circle AOE or splash AOE is really, really good. I mean, look at how big it is. All right, so anyway, guys, on to his next upgrade. It will be another range and also damage upgrade, 2,000 cash. Let's now do it, boys. And there you go, 13,335.5 damage. I kind of feel bad that these ghosts doesn't really... Oh, wait, they got faces as well. Yo, guys, check this out. Check this out. Those ghosts actually got faces. I, I really thought that it's just going to be like a, a blob, kind of like a blob color white, but yeah, they, they're flying fast. But as you guys can see, yeah, they got faces. Wow. All right. I was not really expecting that. I thought that it will be really hard to model, but yeah, God dang, that was really cool. Okay. So on this next over, guys, 2000 cash, still not going to be crazily expensive, plus five range and another damage again. Let's now do it, boys. So he now got a total of 50 range, which is, well, I should say decent, but not good. And his circle AOE is still going to be the same. Oh my God. That was so laggy. And and uh, yeah, his damage is now a total of 17,094.5. Okay, so the damage is not really growing that much though. And also these ghosts got like a hitbox. So <laughs> sometimes you will accidentally uh, step on them. Look at that, I can climb on him. All right, but anyway guys, let's now move on to his next upgrade. It's gonna be another range and damage upgrade once more. 6,712.5 damage. Hmm, his damage growth is not really that crazy though. 
Okay, I wonder why. All right, so 2,600 cash, and there you go, guys. So his range is now actually decently big. Hmm. His damage now should be 20 plus, yeah. 23,807, 5 SBA, and also total of 55 range. So we are now only lacking two more upgrades, but let's now move on to the next one. And ooh, okay, this is now gonna be the start of the madness, I think. You can't touch us. And keep in mind that this will cost us 125,000 cash, guys. Plus five range. Ooh, wait a second. Plus three SPA? Hmm. Okay, but as you guys can see, the damage would be crazy, though. 89,500 damage. Oh, my God. So you can't touch us. Let's now do it, boys. And, ooh, I think that it became bigger. Yeah, his splash AOE became even more bigger guys wow okay so for the animation yeah it's just gonna be bombarding those uh, spirit balls to these enemies okay okay so what is now gonna be his total damage it must be like 100k 113,307 guys all right so he's not really that crazily expensive because we because we can already see guys that his final upgrade would be only 125,000. and by the way he's now also gonna be a hybrid unit so perfect timing because we got some air units here we already have like an air logo here uh so yeah obviously guys he can clap those air units which is really good i think because if he's only gonna be hitting ground unit then that would be really really bad all right but anyway guys let's not try to max him out so 125,000, and he will be clocking at 202,807. That is crazy, considering that his SPA is only 8. I'm only saying that it's only 8, guys, because, well, normally, on this type of damage, like 6-digit damage uh, units, they actually got like 10 or more SPA. So, yeah, that's actually good. And also, his final range would be like 65. So, without any orb, guys... I think that that is really nuts. The good thing about this is we can actually place like literally eight of them. Look at this. Eight of them, guys, would be um, 200,000 or 202,000 times eight. That's already like 1.6 million. Almost the same or at least uh, just 200k shy uh, compared to Kakashi. But it's going to cost us 260,000. So he is probably a little bit more expensive than Kakashi. But yeah it's not really gonna fail you guys because well because well it is not really as inconvenient to use as kakashi you know so yeah it's gonna be a good six star guys this is only like without any erwin buff and speaking of erwin buff actually it got merlin here as well so we're gonna be buffing them using our erwin and at the same time our merlin guys to see what's gonna be his final stats and let me just do a shinzo sasagio shinzo sasagio Shinzo Sasagio, and of course, a range booster. So his final stats would be, oh my God, 608,421. Wow, okay. So I guess that, <laughs> I guess that he is really a good unit, guys. I mean, I'm actually happy about it because I mean, if you'll think about it, guys, uh, for Kakashi six star, you will also spend quite some gems, guys, because you will be needing some Obitos. And at the same time, I believe uh, Kakashi ultimate, I mean, the Kakashi five stars, unless you want to evolve the four star to five star Kakashi, then I think that price wise or gem wise is just going to be the same. But yeah, I'm actually happy, but definitely not surprised, guys, because, well, this is a Dragon Ball unit. Oh, my God. I kind of wanted to <laughs> I kind of wanted to do like an all Dragon Ball challenge again, guys, because there's a bunch of new characters here from Dragon Ball that was added like for the past couple of updates. But God dang. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the power of one of the newest six star that we got from this update. There's still one more, I think, Sukuna. I'm not sure if there's going to be like some more six star units, but normally they're only releasing like two. But yeah, if you're interested on, you know, comparing him to Kakashi, just keep in mind, guys, that damage wise, they are actually hitting a little bit lower than Kakashi because not only because of their total damage, but also the fact that, well, they got like two more SPA than Kakashi. But of course, guys, the convenience of not, you know, like clicking, <laughs> clicking the enemies. And at the same time, you know, they're also going to be hybrid anyway. I think that it's going to be really hard to choose between Kakashi and also Gotenks. But if I will choose, definitely I would choose Gotenks because it is a lot more convenient unless the developers will actually change 
change Kakashi's ultimate uh, Susanoo size. But yeah, that's gonna be it. And if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to leave a like and of course subscribe. Use a star code snow whenever you're buying Robux. And as always, I'll see you guys again in the next one. We will pop a lot of videos, guys. That is for sure. But yeah, stay cold. My childhood Gotenks out.